And welcome back YouTube, this is Booster Bats Buster here with another video. Today we're going to be doing a nice little event called Booster Builds a Model Kit. I got another Yu-Gi-Oh! model kit here, made by Mattel, from the 2000, from the early to mid 2000 area. And today's subject of the video is none other than the most famous monster of all time, Hercules Beetle. Uh, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. I do not remember this guy from the anime whatsoever. Being it's a bug type, I'm guessing it was a weevil card, but who knows. Let's just take a look at the side here. We got Launcher Spider, which I already built, and the Gate Guardian, which once again I already built. There's Harpy's Pet Dragon. Not a huge fan of Harpy's Pet Dragon, but it is a model kit nonetheless. And of course... Hercules Beetle advertising itself on the side. He got the information on the back. Uh, let's read this. Metallic finish wings. Ooh, cool detail. Awesome color. Easy snap, but it's, I'm not even joking. It says awesome color as one of the highlights. You cannot make this stuff up. Awesome color is one of the highlights on the box. And then here's the side with all the information saying, hey, don't uh, assemble this if you're under a certain age. You could choke. And yeah, here we go. Hercules Beetle model kit. Never actually had the model kit of the Hercules Beetle before, so I don't know if it's really hard or really easy to build. I'm guessing it's not too hard because it's a Yu-Gi-Oh model kit. They're usually not too hard. It's the empty box. If you like empty boxes, there's a shot of one. Everybody loves an empty box. If you're a cat. Alright, so let's take a look at the pieces here. Looks like we got the legs and arms of the particular Hercules beetle. And then we got the head right there. Looks like we got a... Uh, Oh, that's probably like to protect the head. The actual shell itself. Two pincers. The other half of the shell. Probably the uh, arms for the wings. And then here are the wings itself. Very chrome. Very shiny. I like that. Alright. So let's start this model kit project. Alright, so we want it in English. So we are going to read this piece by piece. So first up we gotta take that big horn and the head and combine them. That should be easy enough to do. Here's the head. Here, let you guys stare at an ugly beetle for a while. So we got the head pulled from its plastic prison. Pretty shiny, I like, I like. Let's remove this little uh, tag. Ah, there we go, perfect. Just the little old twist and pull. Then we want this uh, Dark Magician head looking piece. You know what's funny? I don't think they ever actually made a model kit of the Dark Magician. I know they made it of blue eyes. I know they made it of red eyes. But I don't think Dark Magician ever got a model kit. Alright, so here is this piece with the little tag. Let's just go ahead and remove that. Twist and pull. All right, so we're gonna snap this into here. We got the little, or the, uh, the divot and the insertion piece, and we're just gonna kind of slide it right on in there. All 
Let's get it hooked up. Hopefully it lines up nicely. I think the mandibles are kind of getting in the way there. Okay. Is it supposed to go in more like top? How is this supposed to go? <clears throat> If it wants to go, I would be very happy. But it's not going into the hole. Come on, don't you want to have six? Get in the hole, buddy. It's too big. Uh, good start, good start. Let's take a look. Okay. It looks like it's much more prominently out. So maybe I just need to angle it down a bit more. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's supposed to go in like this. Maybe I'm going at it the wrong way. Shit. This is, this is hard. This does not want to enter. Not to take it behind the camera and kind of do it, but close body check to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm doing this the right way. Wait, wait, I got it, I got it. Maybe. This hole does not want to fit. Don't want to break the dang thing either. Yeah, it's. I think the pincers, the mandibles, are getting in the way of success here. Here, let me try this. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 almost, almost. I feel it going on. Holy son of a gun, I think it's on. Oh, it's getting better though, it's getting looser.
Good way to start the video. First piece won't work. <sighs> okay, you know what? We're gonna move on to step number two. Because I am gonna break it if I continue to do that. So we got the shell. Maybe the shell will work a little bit nicer. We're gonna take this piece and we're gonna take this piece, okay. Boom, okay. Just do a little bit of twisty pull. Where's the number piece for this? It might have it might have just popped off. Sometimes I do that. Yep, it just popped off. Okay, cool. Please work a little bit better. Holy cow. That was so smooth, I want to do it again. I can't believe that worked. So the next step, we attach to all the limbs and we're gonna try to get the head. We'll, we'll try the head again after, after we get the limbs on. So let's take a look. This is number 11. 11 is going to be, okay, mid, this one's going to go right here. Perfect. Easy. This is number 12. 12 goes uh, on the mid on the right side. Okay. A little bit of twisty pull. Line this up right here with the socket. Just kind of Work its way in there. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to pull the legs back so we can get the other two in there. Oh, I'm going to grab the wrong one. Wait, where did I put the... Oh, there they are. Hiding underneath the instructions. So now we're going to get with number uh, 13. That is... Bottom left. Let's just snap that in there quick. All right. How the heck is that supposed to stand? The, the things bump into each other. I see. That's kind of weird. So the legs are supposed to be crossed, actually, like that. That's interesting. I did not. I did not realize that. Probably gives it a bit more support that way. If I had to guess as to why they did that. And the last leg. Hope oh, that's the freaking head. I'm going to worry about later. Where, where did I put the last leg at? Legolas, where are you?
I know you're here somewhere. Those are the... Oh, there it is. Okay, fell right in front of the camera here. So this is supposed to go kind of like this. I'm going to pull that back just so I can easily get it in. And it's supposed to kind of cross over like that. Boom. Alright. That's what it kind of looks like. I guess I could see that given that support, you know, once you, uh... Okay, I, I get it. It's kind of like uh, somebody uh, hunched over their hands on the ground with their legs behind them. Okay. I got it. I got the pose now. Let's go ahead and attach his weapons. You know, with how much love they gave Basic Insect, I'm kind of surprised they didn't make a Basic Insect model kit. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Alright. Let's go ahead and attach his killer arms. Oh, come on, you know you want to go in there. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be that way. Alright, there we go. There's arm number one. This is actually a fairly good sized model compared to some of the other Yu-Gi-Oh ones. There we go. I was just missing the head. Okay, I'm going to give the head another try. It doesn't feel satisfying, it doesn't feel like there's a snap, so I don't think it's actually on. Like, the slightest movement is probably going to send it flying. It's just brute force at this point, hoping that it stays on. Honestly, I might need to glue this piece on, as much as I hate to do that. Because these are supposed to be no glue kits! Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't want to go on. Making me pee owed that it doesn't want to go on. I can't figure out the right angle. And it's a really awkward piece to try and pull it in there. Is it on? Is it on? Son of a god, I think I've done it. Okay. Attach this. Just like this. There he is. Look at that. Oh, th look at that ugly mug. Finally got it on. Apologies. This video should not be near this length. That gave me a lot more trouble than it should have. Okay, let's finish it. Let's put on the wings. And then I want to compare it to a couple of the other model kits I've done in this particular line.
All right, there's the wing, there's the wing. Uh, looks like the pieces already fell out, that's good. Here are those uh, metallic-y, shiny pieces. I'm not going to show too much of those because they reflect everything. Alright, so on the back... Looks like it goes like this. It kind of goes in that slot just like that. And it goes in this slot, just like that. And you can kind of sp spread them open a little bit if you want. That's kind of cool. You can kind of have them at different degrees of open. Or you can have it more closed. That's actually really cool. You can kind of have it either open or closed like that. I, I do like that uh, uh, design. There's the first one. Right over top of that hole, just like that. Please don't give me too much issue. I really don't want it. Why, why isn't it going in the hole? Go in the hole! You piece of arg! Okay, why, why isn't that working? Yeah, it should go straight in the hole. Oh, okay, it's it's not supposed to clap tightly. Okay, I, I didn't know that. So that's cool. It's supposed to kind of just hang off like that. That's cool to know. Although it does make it very back heavy. That's not good. Of course, we have this right here. Just kind of slide it into this piece. I'm going to probably just take it off and do it that way. Probably a lot easier. Okay. It just doesn't feel like it's going to stay in there. It feels like it's going to pop off. Okay. So with all that done, let's kind of lead them forward a bit more. That is the Hercules Beetle. Finally get up the pieces to work. I gotta say, that actually looks a lot cooler than I thought it would. Just for some comparison shots, here is what it looks like against Spider Launcher. Here is what it looks like with the Gate Guardian. I have to say, it actually looks pretty dang cool. I am actually pretty happy with this. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot more lame. If it wasn't for the head not wanting to go on, this would be a really, really fun model kit. That head really gave me a lot of problems, though. I know, insert into window there. And uh, yeah, that is what it looks like. And if you want an idea of how big it is, here is a Yu-Gi-Oh card for comparison size. So the, it does stay in taller than a Yu-Gi-Oh card, and it's quite a bit wider. Well, maybe not quite a bit wider, but, you know, from, uh, you know, just to give you an idea from, you know, here to here, it does. Uh... Yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit wider than a card. And then here to here. Yeah. So if you have a Yu-Gi-Oh card, you can kind of dimension it out. Launcher Spider. Short but wide. Hercules Beetle. Quite a good stout uh, figure overall. And the Gate Guardian. Tall but slender. Alright. With that being said... 
This is Mr. Max Fester building a model kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have. Um, if you want to see more content like that, please hit that like button. If you want to see more, uh, if you want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And if you want to check out a past video, maybe one of my previous model kit builds, it should be appearing right about now, or maybe it already has. Until next time, this has been Booster Box Buster, and I'm signing out. Peace.